Hey there, my friend, this is Paul Hutchings, and in today's video, I wanna share with you the things that are important to do to grow a direct sales business. And this could be a daily method of operation for network marketing. It could also be a daily method of operation for affiliate marketing. Both of those business models are a type of a direct sales business where a company has created products and you have the opportunity to share those products with other people. And when those other people buy those products, you earn a commission and more particularly a residual commission, which allows you to grow your freedom. I actually have had several people ask me this question just in the last couple of days. What, you know, one, one was a customer team member said, what should I be doing every day? And then just barely a friend of mine was showing our business to her cousin and her cousin said, what would I be doing every day? So I jotted down these four things and I wanted to share them in the hopes that they can Number one, help anyone out there that's wondering what are some things that I can do every day to grow my business in direct sales. And also, hopefully this video can help people who are looking at joining a direct sales business um, so that they can know what they would be doing to grow their business in an effective way. And in case you don't know who I am, I've been doing direct sales for over 10 years and I've had a lot of failures and have had a lot of successes and thankfully uh, have been able to build a life of freedom. Uh, and this, these are my best answers to that question. So let me go ahead and share these with you. Number one, personal development. Personal development is just where every day you're going to grow yourself. You're going to read from a great book. You're going to go through a training. You're going to learn how to make yourself better so that you can be more useful to the people that you're serving. That is number one. Second thing, build trust by connecting with people one-on-one -on -one and or by creating content that serves people. So let me break this down a little bit. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. So to successfully grow a direct sales business, you have to have people who trust you. And the way you build trust is in two ways. Number one, you build relationships with people. So you meet new people, you learn about them, you create relationships to a point where they, they feel like they trust you. The second way to build trust on the internet, and this is one of my favorite ways to do this, is you create content that serves those people. So this would be YouTube videos, Facebook posts, um, emails, you know, ads that you create that serve people and help them. That's creating content that serves someone. And when you serve someone and, and you, they, they find what you gave them valuable, their level of trust goes up. They, they're thankful. They're like, oh, this person helped me. I'm so thankful. And now I trust this person. Okay, so that's activity number two, uh, building trust by either connecting with people one-on-one -on -one and or by creating content that serves people. I like to do both of these. Number three, Invite the people you've built trust with to look at what you're selling that can help them get what they want. And you can do this one-on-one -on -one or via email. So if I have a relationship with someone that trusts me and they tell me that they want to earn a certain amount of income I can, and I have something that can help them earn that income, I can then invite them. You know, hey, you told me you wanted to do this. This is a goal you have. Would you be open to watching a video that might help you do that? And then you share the presentation page with whatever it is you know that, that you're promoting. And that's how you give invitations one-on-one. -on -one. The second way to give invitations to people that trust you is via email. This is one of the primary ways that I've done this where people are on my email list and I send out emails in an effort to serve them and as I'm sending these emails, or you can even send videos at the end of the email, or maybe even in a video, you put a call to action and a call to action is just an invitation where you say, you know, uh, if you are open to building a residual income so you can, you know, get rid of that job that you don't like, or so that you can go on more vacations or so that you can, uh, you know, have time freedom to do the things that you really want to do, maybe spend more time with your family. If you're open to any of these benefits, then you might want to click this link and take a look at this presentation page. And that's where you would send them to your presentation page. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the third thing that you want to do on a daily basis. And then the last thing I would recommend is to grow your email list. 
Now, your email list is nothing more than a group of people who you gave them something that they wanted and in return for you giving them something that they wanted that hopefully serves them, they agreed to give you their email and said, hey, yeah, go ahead and send me emails, you know, however uh, often you want to. And this email list is a really valuable asset because you can have as many people as you want and can serve on this email list. So in the beginning, you know, maybe you get one person on your email list, but as you continue doing the things that will grow that email list, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where, you know, you can get to a point where you've got thousands of people or even more than that on your email list. And when you send them an email, you can invite them to look at what it is that you're selling. So imagine how powerful it will be or can be when you have the ability to write a little email and send it to 10,000 people or 5,000 people and then in, and serve them, right? Because you want to build trust. You're giving them value. And then in the process of doing that, you uh, invite them to look at what it is that you're selling. They look at your link, just like I mentioned in the PS line. They want those benefits. They say, yeah, I'd like to see that. So they go to the presentation page. They get excited about what they see and they make a decision to get started and buy. And then you earn a commission and you can do that as much as you want. You know, whatever your goals are, uh, you know, you can just increase the quality and quantity um, in which you do these things. Um, I wanted to also just address a couple of things. Do you have to create content? Do you have to have an email list? No, you do not. But what you will have to do is build trust by growing relationships and meeting new people and giving those invitations. That's method number one. Method number two is you create trust by creating content that serves people. And as they're trusting you and as they're being thankful for the things you're adding into their lives that are shining light into their lives, it's helping them. You invite those people. Those are two different things you can do. You can do one, you can do the other one, or you can do a combination of both. And in either one of those two methods or with a combination of those two, you can be very, very successful in a direct sales business and grow the income that you want and create the lifestyle that you want and really add a lot of value to people at the same time to where people will thank you so much for being a light in their life. It's the most amazing thing when you do it right. So I hope these tips have helped. Uh, and that's the video for today. This is Paul with pipelinemoney.com. If you'd like to um, you know, learn more from me, feel free to go to my website, pipelinemoney.com and add yourself to my email list and you'll get emails and more training from me. See how easy that is? All right, have a great day and bye for now.